Whenever we are on a penetration testing engagement, the first phase is usually data reconnaissance and intel gathering about the target. One of the very efficient techniques that will get you such valuable information is metadata extraction from online files. Information includes usernames, emails, file path, and even the software used to create such files. So let's see how it works. Let's go to our Kali terminal here. We will clone an application called MetaGoofil. So this is the link here. Go to the MetaGoofil folder and try to list the content here. We're interested in running the file metagoofil.py and that's the application actually you have some switches to use d for the domain t for the file types which are many here pdf doc etc uh, l is the default limit for the search results of 200 n is the limit of the files that the application will download from the target website O is the output directory that will have the downloaded files and F is the name of the output file. So let's see, uh, let's write a simple syntax here. Python metagoofil.py, then we'll specify the domain. This is just a fictitious domain for the sake of the demo. Domain is redpython.com. The file types we search for are PDF files. You can use the comma as well and enter another type, other types of files. Now we'll put, we'll use the L switch here, which is default 200, and the N switch to download a maximum of 100 files. Then the O switch to specify the folder, and the L switch, and the F switch to specify the output file name. You just run this, opening the resulting HTML file will give you this display it found 24 usernames 21 software used and around 80 emails you can see here the username is found the software version found the email found and the all the files analyzed so what it actually do is use google search to, to look to look up the files hosted on the website and it will use its engine to extract any metadata related to these files. This piece of information is very important for us. We can start identifying the list of user users here. We can discover the scheme of the usernames and the emails used in the company. We can take this to the next level by searching for these usernames on LinkedIn and, and attacking our targets accordingly.